Hey, what's up ladies and gentlemen, Beaky here with the Untitled Game Show, back once again with another product overview. And for you guys today, we're going to be looking at the Type-C USB Hub 3 ports with SD card and micro SD card reader. Why this product? Of all things, well, USB Type-C is very important for the future, and we need some hubs in our computer for productivity reasons. So we're going to be going over this right now. And if you guys haven't seen my unboxing and overview of these paintings right here, make sure you guys go ahead and click anywhere on the screen, and it will go ahead and take you to that video as well on my second channel. It's very interesting. I talk about video games, and is video games art? But with art as well, uh, it's kind of confusing. Watch the video and you'll understand more. Let's get into the product right here, guys. So, of course, it slides off quite simply. Open up the box. Nothing too fancy. This is coming from a Chinese company, I, I'm pretty sure. There was no reviews on this product in video form on Amazon or on YouTube. So I figured I will be the first one to do one of the Type-C version because this is one of the cheapest versions of a Type-C hub you could get on Amazon that actually comes with an SD card or a micro SD card reader. Now let's go over the product and the three reasons I went ahead and bought it. So let's start off with a Type-C connector to the computer. Now, if you have a MacBook, the new one, or a Chromebook, the new one as well, you'll actually have a Type-C connector. This is a new universal USB connector, which is completely different from the bigger version for the USB 2 or USB 3.0. As you guys will be able to see, if you try to connect to a USB 2.0, of course, you have a 50-50% chance of getting it in the right way the first time. Well, with Type-C connector, you will basically be able to get it in the first time, always right, because it's universally reversible. Now, the next part that's kind of interesting about this specific hub right here is that it has a switch now the reason why the switch is quite interesting and quite useful for many of us who use a lot of usb hub in our productivity workflow is because hubs do freeze up every now and then especially having them for a long time and if you ever had a hub freeze up you know what you have to do you have to go behind the computer and have to yank it out and plug it back in so it can reconnect well with a switch on the actual device itself you could go ahead and just turn it on or turn it off every single time there is an error and it'll just go ahead and reset itself this is making you happen to not go behind the computer and saves you a lot of time especially if you're getting behind a computer could be an actual hassle the third reason why I went ahead with this one specifically, it had the longest damn cable I could possibly find on Amazon for a USB Type 3 hub. Most cables are extremely short, and the reason for this is because most people are going to be using this currently with MacBooks or Chromebooks. If you are a desktop user and looking for a USB Type 3 hub with a long cable so you can actually have it from the back of your computer to a desk, this might be your only choice because most hubs are only 12 inches or even less eight this one actually gives you 18 and i know this may not sound that important but trust me if you're trying to plug this in the back of your computer and it does not reach as far as you need it you're gonna be upset and even 18 inches might be too short for some i'm just saying one thing to very much note about this hub these are traditional usb 3.0 type a ports to plug in your USB 1.0, USB 2.0, or USB 3.0 devices. These are not new USB 3.0 ports that you can go ahead and plug in right here. There are not too many devices that are compatible with this yet. Like all phones are not using more advanced charging methods of USB 3.0 some Apple devices some new coming Android devices are but most people's phones are just using the standard edition micro SD or the old school lightning cable so that's why they went with this and once again this is a cheaper version of these ports there's some of these that go all the way up to $50 but I wanted to start off cheap try how the cheap one works and then if I see I needed a more expensive one I'll go from there but I'm gonna go ahead and plug it in try it out and I'll report back all right, guys, let's go ahead and sum everything up. And I'm happy to say, if you're looking at the Amazon listing right now, yes, that price seems to have some reliability for itself. This product seems to be working perfectly fine. I've tried out different SD cards, different USB devices, charging phones, transferring data from Android phones, and even Apple phones as well. And everything seems to be working just fine. Now, guys, 
you want something that's a little more sleek and look sexy, this may not be for you. But if you want something more practical with a switch that does both SD card reading and USB 3.0 at the same exact time, well, this might be for you. And you want to plug it into a USB Type 3 port either on a laptop or on a desktop, well, you might want to consider this project because USB 3.0 Type C is definitely seem to be where everybody's headed down the line. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the review. Links to more product overviews in the description. Till then, peace out.